Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Reviews. Today I'm doing something a little bit differently, and I'm sitting down with the beautiful Miss Elizabeth Von Presley. And we are here to discuss her brand new album, Diamonds in a Blackout. So this is your second album, right Elizabeth? Yes. So tell us a little bit about it. Tell us a little bit of the inspiration that went into this record. Oh man, I'm stoked for it. Stoked. I, I love the first album, but I'm really madly in love with the second album here. Um, it's pop rock, like Lady Gaga meets Joan Jett. Little Katy Perry in there. It's a little bit of something for everybody. A little bit of something for everybody. Now, I actually got an opportunity to listen to this album before a lot of other people did, mm -hmm. uh, which thank you for that very much. I mm -hmm. deeply enjoyed that. And I will say that this is a huge departure from your previous album, My Foolish Heart. Tell us a little bit about My Foolish Heart and how that transformed into Diamonds in the Blackout. Um, you know, I grew up. Yeah, My Foolish Heart was kind of my first album figuring things out, like the way I liked hearing my voice and different keys and, and different uh, arrangements, but I really feel like this one I wanted more dance tunes, because part of my live show is definitely like that mm, mm, dance yeah, element. Yeah, most definitely. And so I needed something with it, you know, a bit more of a, a beat, a back beat, something you kind of sit and groove into or like really pop and lock. Most definitely, most definitely. So if you don't mind, I want to kind of go track by track on this album, kind of go a little bit into inspiration for each one. Okay. First thing I want to do is, where did the name Diamonds in a Blackout come from? Actually, my bandmate, Tim King, had the idea for Diamonds in the Blackout. Yeah, we liked the Blackout, and then kind of, I'm kind of a glitzy, over-the-top, you know, feminine kind of person, and so the Diamonds really incorporates the, the contrasting, the, the Blackout, and then the Diamonds. So, because there's a little bit of, we kind of, we're going to do the album half and half. Half Diamonds, half Blackout. So, like, the Blackout's the rock hardcore, the Diamonds the more lovey and soft and pretty. But we ended up kind of blending the two styles together in most every song. Yeah, I can definitely see that. So the first track on here, Welcome to the Blackout, is kind of just an intro, mm -hmm. which definitely kind of threw me off by surprise toward the end of it, <laughs> which I loved. Welcome to the Blackout. Very kind of different. I love when albums kind of have an intro, kind of it gives yeah. a little bit extra to it. Our second song is American Blackout, mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about American Blackout. American Blackout is, is kind of... Um, mirroring the political situation going on right now um, in the world, uh, not to, you know, point fingers or anything, but it's definitely a political song. Um, it's kind of written from the perspective of me being the rallier, the leader of the um, opposing team, I guess you could say. So that's kind of like the battle cry for the people needing to stand up for what they believe in. and and kick some butt and get it done. I like that because I now listening to the song I can definitely kind of mm -hmm. hear where that comes from. The third song is hands down my favorite song on this album <laughs> and this is I Am Wonder. Yes. So what, tell us a little bit about this one. I would say it's my favorite song in the whole album. Um, obsessed with Wonder Woman. Yeah. Wanted to, you know, kind of paint the Wonder Woman picture. I used to dress up as Wonder Woman all the time. I went as Wonder Woman for Halloween probably five times in a row. So I kind of have an obsession with Wonder Woman and everything she stands for, you know, the strong woman kind of thing. So that song is definitely written like I'm getting ready to go out to battle as Wonder Woman, but it's from a modern day perspective. It talks about breaking the glass ceiling. Um, it talks about, you know, strapping your boots on and going in and, and again, like American Blackout, um, standing up for yourself. Definitely. Now, this song is actually one that, if I were ever to do a drag again, I would love to do drag oh, for this song. Oh, I would be honored! Just oh. because that song sounds like just one of those just club, like... Oh! I was playing this in the, in the car, and after many hours of technical difficulty, to get it to play in my car, <laughs> oh, no. because for some reason in 2015 we feel the need to not put CD players in right. cars anymore. Right. So, uh -huh. But, um, took me forever to finally get it in the car. I got in the car and we were listening to it, and my husband loves that song, oh, and he is probably the most critical person out there, especially when it's people we know, uh -huh. because he knows how much ambition you guys, especially you have. So he takes everything kind of in, and he, we, there was many times that we were driving since I've gotten this that he has been like, "Hey, play that song, yes! play that song, oh! play that song." So oh, yeah, I, I love, love that. that he loves this as well, just <laughs> because he's super, he can be super critical, and I love well, it. Well, thanks, yes. Jerry, for that. So, Shoot. Next one is Glass Maps. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that one. 
This song is actually pretty cool. It's a love song, which is rare for me to, you know, sing a love song. Um, but this one is definitely, since I'm in a good place in my life, you know, I'm in love. And actually, um, my awesome boyfriend is singing harmonies on the chorus in it. Interesting. So, I'll yeah. have to go back and listen to that, because that's <laughs> definitely, I did not that's pick that little, up. That's a little teaser in there. Very yeah, nice. There's Steven's voice in the chorus. And then next is Abandoned Ship. Abandoned Ship is just that classic rock. You know, that Joan Jett, you can just break it down to just a guitar, bass, and drums, and myself. And that's kind of more the classic rock side. I like that. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with that one. Uh, far Away. Now, the thing I wanted to ask about this one, why the hash mark in the middle? <sighs> you know, artistic choice, you know, looks cool, but uh, Far Away is, is about being close to someone, but you're so distant from them. Like they are, like they could be laying next to you, but you feel like you're in two different worlds. So that's really what that song is about, and I think the you know, the slice is about we each saw it different ways, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's, that song's a little close. I like um, the message behind it, you know, it's about being in love with someone um, and you change, you know, yeah. you, you grow up and you grow apart and that song is definitely kind of embodies that for me, kind of the changes I made over the past you know, two years. Definitely. If you guys wonder why we keep looking down, Elizabeth's wonderful dog Pop-Tart is here with us as well. <laughs> she's playing with a little bone over there. And she's just adorable hey, off camera. So. <laughs> That is why we keep looking down if you guys have any questions on that one. Uh, next one, one at a time. Uh -huh. Yeah, one at a time. Um, it's dark. It's um, about, you know, the haters in the world. The people that, you know, there's always, uh, for every one person that loves you, there's two people that don't like you. And some of it's for a good reason, and some of it's just because they just don't like you. And so that song is really about, you know, standing up and saying I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you all down because I I believe in myself and and what I stand for and kind of just not listening you know kind of drowning them out and doing your own thing and that song is really about Different. being a, a badass I like that. yeah <laughs> am I allowed to swear? no you're totally yeah you're totally fine I <laughs> okay. uh, I've been holding them back no you're good I okay. definitely use them on my channel from time to okay, time perfect. so uh, next one is glow another one of mm. my favorite songs mm. on this album Yep, it's, that's definitely, Wonder Woman and, and Glow are my top. Um, wow, Glow is beautiful. It is, you know, definitely. When that bass drops. So it was written like a, like two lovers and one is floating off into space and they don't want to let go to the other one. So it's really glitchy, my voice glitches out because I'm imagining I'm wearing like a space helmet and the okay. reception is bad. So that's why the glitches are happening. And then in the bridge, you have to let go of that person and you just float off into space. Or you could see it as you're floating off in space together. So it's kind of like floaty space universe. Take it where you want. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Next is lips. <laughs> lips, I love lips. Uh, my lips are murderous is the cue line in yeah. there. And uh, I think it, it's just valid for the time of my life, you know, about a year ago probably. Yeah. You know, just kind of living and yeah, not a lot of details into that one. Not but, uh, if you listen to the song, you'll understand. You'll pick up some. You'll uh, get it. You'll pick some stuff up <laughs> yep. in that one. Next one is our hearts collide, or until our hearts collide. I'm hearts sorry. collide. Yes. Um, one second. Pop tarts eating my Wonder Woman tiara. Pop tarts. She's like, but mom. Mom. She was eating my Burger King, ninety nine cent tiara. Um, sorry, pop tart. Hearts collide. Yes, yes, Hearts Collide is a love song. It's a super love song. It's, uh, I'm in a caffeinated whiplash. Every time you brush past my skin, you know, take a bite, I drink you in. It's really, um, uh, poetically, it's really bitey. The, lyric, the lyrics were written by my bandmate, Tim King, and he's brilliant. And they're very smart, clever lyrics. There's a lot of them. And uh, it's about being in love. I like that. Mm-hmm. Next and final song on this album is Cannibal Queen. Ooh, well, yes. Cannibal Queen. We talked about this. Ooh, one. I feel like if there's a song that's pretty Lady Gaga on there, it's probably Cannibal Queen. Um, yeah, it's about just sometimes there's guys out there that are kind of crappy and treat you kind of crappy, and so that was a song about me eating their heart out. So I, I came up with the line, "I'll eat your heart out," and Cannibal Queen, and then together. Tim King and I came up with this storyline of this girl that's just kind of walking around eating hearts out, and it's really, it's really fun. It's catchy. It is. It's it fun to dance to. Yeah, definitely one of those 
kind of upbeat, more d d b bigger tempo songs. I can't pop yep, words. No, so that's it's okay. Words, man. It's early. <laughs> it's early. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I'm kind of picking up from this is we did a little bit of things that Elizabeth doesn't normally do. We write love sure. songs. Mm -hmm. We yeah. expose ourselves a little bit, yeah. but still keeping that facade up, which I like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of keep a little bit of uh, wonder in there, if that's you will. That's okay, yes. Now, something a lot of people don't know, and I don't really talk about this much on my channel, is I've known Elizabeth for almost 10 years oh now. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Are we that old? No we, way. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, but it would have been toward the first beginning when I met Elizabeth, she told me a quote which has stuck with me forever and some of you guys have caught it when I've worn kind of lower cut tops. But I have this quote on my arm here that says, you're beautiful so don't die a copy. And it actually has Elizabeth's signature because <laughs> crazy. Elizabeth said this to me oh. when I was about 15 or 16 years old. I was going through a super dark place and that one quote almost kind of saved my life essentially. So that's always something I've been super yeah. thankful of Elizabeth for and this woman, let's, I'm just going to dive a little bit into who she is and let her kind of talk about herself. Um, but you're more than just an artist. There is a beautiful thing that, I don't know if you wrote it or someone wrote it on one of your events, that when do you sleep? Because <laughs> you're an artist, you're a photographer, you run this amazing studio which we're at here, which is Tint. Um, so many things. Tell us you know, kind of the normal daily life of Elizabeth von Presley. Uh, well, to answer your question, do I sleep? Um, yes, but not much. <laughs> I sleep uh, usually from like 3 to 5 a.m. or so. Um, but I love what I do, and so it makes... It, it, I feel like when I'm sleeping, I'm missing out, or I'm missing out on my youth to do something fun and exciting while I can. And uh, I truly do live every day as though it's my last day. Um, so I'm, I'm constantly, you know, pushing and driving. And over the past year, year and a half or so, my priorities have shifted. And so I'm really pushing towards, you know, just focusing on music and focusing on a positive message, a positive uh, body image for women and men out there to go out and, and love who you are and, and be okay with who you are. And I think that's why I do so many things, because I don't let people pigeonhole me into one, you know, one specific genre. I kind of, I want to be a photographer now, and then now I want to be a passionate singer, or now I want to write a play, or I'm, I'm looking at writing a book, because I've, you only live once, and, and I'm just constantly a yes person. I was say, you, you kind of are definitely trusted with your photography all over the place. Recently, you just went off to Hawaii to no, shoot uh, Rob Merritt's wedding, which... <laughs> right. We all know here in Seattle, we all know Rob Merritt um, yep. wrote the play, The Summerland Project right. became Amelia 2.0, the movie. Did you have any Me. part in that movie at all? You know, I filmed the play when they did the play, so I'm, I'm going to pretend that my awesome editing um, and cuts of the of the play were really what got the movie, you know, goers being like, that could be on the you know, cinema. But I know it's not, nothing to do with me. It's Rob's brilliant writing. Yeah. And Rob, you know, to incorporate him in the music thing, he does a lot of my music videos for me. Yes. Um, and he, he's brilliant. I love working with him. We've been friends for a lifetime, it feels like. And so I just, yeah, Rob's a great fit. And he's also like myself, just always yeah. kind of running around. He's and always kind doing of a million things. going and doing everything. Yep. I feel like you two are like the biggest, like, go-getters in Cedar Rapids. Yeah, yeah, we don't sleep. Yeah. That's, that's definitely true. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot coming up here in town. We've got album release party tonight. Yes. Uh, album is out today. It, um, uh -huh. Available on the iTunes. Link is in the description below. Also, we're going to be giving away a signed copy of Elizabeth's Ooh. new album, Diamonds in a Blackout. Uh, one of you lucky subscribers, all you got to do, be subscribed to my channel, comment down below um, your t favorite type of music, and just for the shits and giggles, why don't we say our favorite Lady Gaga song? Oh yeah, let's do and it. And then yes. um, one week from today, on the next Friday, we will pick our winner. And right. we will send off a copy of Elizabeth's record to you and you'll get to kind of hear it. If you want to pick it up on iTunes, you definitely can. It's, you know, a great listen. I've been yep. jamming to it in the car. and. Even your first your first album is on iTunes. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, but that it's one, super different. Very different. That one is if you were to compare them, you wouldn't think you they're wouldn't the same person. No, nope. no. Nope. But knowing you, they are definitely you, both you in so many ways. And there's a lot of really really good songs on My Foolish Heart, and there's a lot of really good songs on this one. So both well, are definitely you. good ones to listen to. You can stream me on Spotify. Yeah. And if they want to follow you on your social medias, where can I find you? Yeah, uh, facebook.com backslash Elizabeth Makes Music is my music page. 
Um, and then www.elizabethvonpresley.com has pictures and videos and behind the scenes and a lot of lyric videos up there too so you can kind of know what words I'm saying because there's a lot of words on the album. Um, yes. Yeah, lots of pictures and then it also has show dates uh, when the next show are. So I've got July 7th, which is today, which is tonight, which is exciting at 6.30 at the Amphitheater. And then we're doing an official CD release party at CSPS um, on July 29th. Very nice. And so that's going to be an intimate crowd. It can only fit about 100, 150 people, and we're just going to do the album and kind of dive in like you and I did today um, about what each song is about and what went into writing it. And, and we'll have dancers, of course, always dancers. Now, are we going to get a music video from this album? Absolutely. Do we know which one's going to be first? Oh, you know, I know which one is going to be the easiest one to do first, but I'm going to save that for the second one we release. I want to do Wonder Woman first, but I've got such a grand vision in my head that I have to I have to line it up. Yeah. Like, you know, it's it's got a lot of elements in it and I want it to be one shot, so it's one continuous take. So we're gonna definitely with my music video background, um, being a music video director myself, I have a lot of high hopes for this. Yes. I see when I listen to it, I see a lot of different visuals. You have several music videos out there which are beautiful. You've got Thank you. my favorite one is your one change. Oh, Chance. 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 Yep. I don't know why it's a Chance. No, that's chance. okay. Yeah, Chance. Beautiful music video. I'm going to oh, link that one down it. below. Mm -hmm. um, that is from your band, Four Star Fate. Yep. Beautiful. They also have a record out there that is also on iTunes. Yes. So, definitely lots of places you can pick up Elizabeth's music. And hopefully, she'll become to you guys what she's become here in Cedar Rapids, which is a household name by that's simply so one name, and it is Elizabeth. You're so sweet. I mean, for the first couple years I knew you, I didn't know you by any other name besides Elizabeth. Oh. So, oh. but. Definitely your household name and kind of our local celebrity. So thank you very much for joining us. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Amanda Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, places to find everything for Elizabeth will be below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Mwah!